Hello, this is Jane Goodall with a message on the second World Swift Day. And it's thanks to Martine, Martine the Swift Lady, that this day has come into being. Such an important day. A day which celebrates the work of so many people who've worked to study and raise awareness about these extraordinary birds. But a day especially to show our appreciation of the Swifts themselves. What incredible little birds they are. They leave their nest after fledgling and spend the next three years on the wing, in the air. In the air they feed and rest and groom and even mate. And they don't return to land until it's time for them to make their first nest and lay their first eggs. And then when it's time, they return unerringly to the place where they were born. The big problem is that so many of their nesting places are now gone, either closed up during renovation of buildings or the building itself torn down for new developments. So it's really, really important that we provide them with suitable nest boxes and try to persuade developers to make suitable places where the Swifts can nest. Martine has succeeded in making links between many of the people who are studying Swifts and, very exciting for me, linked up with different roots and shoots groups along the migration routes of the different species, some of which migrate as far as 3,000 miles from where they summer to where they nest. I remember when I was a child, I was staying on a farm in the country and I was there for the arrival of the Swifts after their long journey. And they literally heralded the spring, swooping through the air, calling out in their shrill voices, catching insects, and then swooping into their nests afterwards, ready to start the next generation. Just a couple of days ago, I was reading the Guardian newspaper and there was this piece by Stephen Moss naturalist and author whose work I love and he wrote that he realized spring had truly arrived when usually on a fine sunny morning during the first week of May a familiar sound would reach my ears. It was the screaming of swifts, those dark scythe-shaped creatures that tear across the city skyline in noisy squadrons as if I once noted they intended to pierce through the firmament to reach the heavens beyond. And then Ted Hughes, that great poet, one time poet laureate, also wrote of the Swift's annual return. He greeted it with a sigh of relief. He wrote, they've made it again, which means the globe is still working. The creation is still waking, refreshed, our summer is still all to come. So thank you, Martine, for helping to bring attention to the fact that we need to work together to save the Swifts so that future generations can have the same joy as we have. Thank you again. And everybody listening, if you have Swifts in your area, watch for them to come. Tell Martine, let's make this Swift, Swift, the, the linking of the Swifts around the globe grow and grow, and then together we can save the Swifts. Thank you.